Alrighty everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you've been enjoying the Vanguard release as much as I have. Honestly, aside from the time to kill and a few other like minor things, I think the game is pretty solid. So today I actually have a create a class video for the MP40. I have a few create a class videos I'll be dropping over the next few days or next you know week or so. Um, honestly, some are some insane sleeper builds that you guys are gonna love. But as of right now, for today, we have an MP40 two tap. It's it's completely busted. It's insane, and I love it. I can't imagine it's gonna stay around forever, but I do think we'll get at least till the beginning of season one or so with it. Alrighty, let's dive right into it. So the big the big focus of this build is two attachments. So the first one we're gonna look at is the 8mm Curse 32 round mag. It gives you two bullet velocity and range, one bullet pen, and one damage. You do lose some recoil control and accuracy, and the gun does shoot a little slower. However, we are going to add other attachments to make up for those. So now we're going to do the ammo type hollow point. It increases your limb damage, but you lose two damage range. Now, honestly, this is going to be the biggest thing here because it increases your limb damage. So it doesn't work on your chest or your stomach, but it does work on your arms and your legs and your arms on most characters, you know, when you're holding a gun, your arms are going to be in front of your chest so it's going to be kind of blocking the chest so if you shoot at somebody's chest there's a good chance of hitting their arms so you're essentially looking at a two tap kill as long as you you know two shots to the arms two shots to the leg one shot to the arm and leg you know one shot to the head and the arm etc so now to make up for the slower the slower bullets to increase the time to kill and make it worthwhile Let's use recoil booster here. It'll add two fire rate and it'll lower the accuracy by one. Unfortunately, accuracy is huge in this game because they added a bloom effect. If you're not familiar with bloom, it essentially just adds bullet spread for some unknown reason. I don't know why any developer ever thought that was a good idea for an FPS. But aside from that, from what true game data is saying, if you have about plus four accuracy on your attachments, you should negate all of the all of the bloom effect across your guns. So that is something we're going to take advantage of with the rest of the attachments here. So we have the Krausnik 317 mm barrel. It increases your accuracy and recoil control. It also reduces scope sway and gun bob. I do see some people running the shrouded barrel as well, however it lowers your damage range, which we've already done with previous attachments. So I don't really recommend doing that again. Then we have your stock. I'm doing the VDD 34M padded stock. It gives you 3 recoil control and 3 accuracy. So with this plus 3 accuracy, all you need is one more accuracy and you already hit that plus 4 to negate the bloom. So yeah, I definitely want to try and get as much accuracy there as I can. Aside from that, if you're looking to play a little bit more aggressive, then I would recommend the folding stock instead. I still prefer the padded, but that is something to keep in mind because you do lower the sprint to fire speed by three. Then you have the underbarrel. I'm rocking the M1941 hand stop. It gives you plus one recoil and plus one accuracy. Now you do lose one hip fire. If you are concerned about that, you can do the Carver foregrip, which gives you plus two recoil and plus one hip fire. However, it does lower your ADS by one. Then you have the pine tar grip that I recommend. It gives you plus two recoil and plus one hip fire accuracy. Otherwise, the polymer grip is huge as well. It gives you plus two flinch resistance and plus one accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. So then you have the proficiency. I recommend steady. It reduces your movement penalties, but I do see some people running unmarked as well. I find that to be kind of redundant considering you get dead silence and ninja as it is. And then for the kit, I run fully loaded to increase my max starting ammo. Essentially, that's going to be the two tap MP40. I, I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you found an even stronger, more OP build than this, definitely let me know. I'd love to try it out. Other than that, guys, I really hope you liked the video. Please drop a like. Again, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you ever want to reach out to me personally, I would recommend my Discord. I have a community Discord of about 90 to 100 people so far. Tons of us playing COD, you know, Battlefield, Halo. We're, we're into FPSs in general, and we, we love gaming, so... 
If you want to get involved, feel free to join up. There are a few other content creators in there as well. So if you're ever looking to do a collab or something like that, that may be a good opportunity for you. All right, guys, the links to all of my socials are down in the description below, including the link into the Discord. Other than that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video today. It was nice popping a new one out. I do plan on releasing a bunch more videos soon, so let me know what you guys think. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.